the most unlikely thing would be for some massive problem to happen live. And so by making the windows smash, I believe on purpose, they're drumming up all this PR activity where people are talking about it twice as much as they normally would. You've got to build your business around your life and not your life around your business. Business ads are going to sell you a fake lifestyle of supercars and fancy mansions. Today, I'm really good at doing this. I woke up this morning and all I'm seeing is this stupid Tesla video where Elon's on stage and they're rolling out the Cybertruck and it's on stage and then this other guy, I don't even know who he is, he throws this metal ball at the window. Sure? Yeah. Oh my God. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. <laughs> Should we try it on Sorry? It didn't go through, Let's so that was, a, that was a plus side. Let's try the right. Okay. Try the one, really? Okay. Yeah. Sure. Oh, <laughs> man. It didn't go through. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, not bad. A little room for improvement. <laughs> Now the car, if you've seen any of the specs, it's supposed to be armored or bulletproof or whatever. And so you're thinking when he throws it at the window, it's just gonna bounce right off. For whatever reason, it smashes and there's this big circular dent in, in the window as if it's just like, like the, the, the uh, weakest glass ever. And so someone sends this to me kind of as a joke about Tesla stuff. They know I like Tesla. Actually, Nick, our camera guy, has a Tesla shirt on. It's like, everybody's so pro Tesla. And so a friend sends me this and they're like, oh, they need your help. They obviously screwed something up. They, Tesla needs trainual, whatever. Their production process is broken. And I, the first thing I thought when I look at it is they are PR geniuses. Because think about it. Tesla rolls out these new cars every couple years and they make this big fanfare like Apple or whoever else. And they get all the press there and they fill a room. But now that they've released so many cars, the, the, the excitement almost wears off a little bit. It's kind of like, I didn't care at all. I didn't pay attention to the release. I, I'm like, I'm gonna see pictures tomorrow. Um, doesn't really matter. And so how can they actually capture your attention? Well, the most unlikely thing would be for some massive problem to happen live. And so by making the windows smash, I believe on purpose, they're drumming up all this PR activity where people are talking about it twice as much as they normally would. We wouldn't be recording this video if they just threw the thing at the window and nothing happened. It wouldn't be on all the news stations or as many stations if nothing happened. But because they created something unexpected, there's this press worthiness to it where more people wanna talk about it and share it and debate over, did they fake this or is this real? And so the way, I, you know, I don't care, I think they faked it, but the, the real lesson here is they're amazing at PR. And so how do you apply that to your business? Think about how you create some kind of press worthy thing that's unexpected in your business and in your industry. I saw Richard Branson speak. He is the king at this. He was a digital marketer last year. And he, uh, on stage, he's talking about how he just does these crazy stunts that he shows up and he puts on some nuts suit and he throws some big stunt. And so we actually started thinking at Trainual, this hasn't happened yet, but it's an idea, that what if we could go to some city and train like 10,000 people to do something? You know, like that would be a really cool press worthy thing where we're training a bunch of people to do something and then of course that attaches back to Trainual. Now in Tesla's uh, example here, they did something wrong. Now think about if whatever your brand perception is of Tesla, if you're a big Tesla fan and, and you do believe that they screwed something up, they had a manufacturing problem, the wrong windows got placed in this armored car and it broke, is if they release a press release in two days saying, here's the problem, we identified it, haha, -ha, silly, never happened again, your trust is like totally restored in Tesla. It does not make that big of an impact because you just believe, okay, little mistake, it was a prototype, it's on stage, a lot of hype around this event, but the real car is gonna be fine. They're never gonna mass produce them with this problem. Yet, by manufacturing this little problem, they created this massive press event where all these people are talking about the car. 
So I believe even looking, uh, a, even a flaw like that in your system can be a way to create some press worthiness around whatever you're doing. So uh, props to you guys, Elon, amazing with the PR. Um, I'm really impressed. I was shaking my head as I was watching the video saying, man, these guys are smart. So way to go and a uh, good lesson for everyone. Think about how you can create some skepticism or some ma manufacture some moment to create press for your business.